Today on TBC, Olivia Rodrigo joins No Doubt on stage at Coachella. Details today. And the Orlando Magic clinched their playoff spot. We'll talk about all this and more today on The Brick. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Gia. And I'm TJ. We're here with your co-host, Kim Bontailoni. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, so how was Pinchy game? It was Good. so fun. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely miss you. Very much. Definitely. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> what did everyone do this weekend? Um, I went Nothing. to the beach. Ooh. I slept. Oh. oh. And watched you. What? On Netflix. Oh, the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But before we get started, as always, let's take a look at the weather. There was no doubt that this would be an un unforgettable performance. On Saturday, April 13th, No Doubt took the stage for the first time since 2015 at Coachella in Indio, California, where they were joined by Olivia Rodrigo. During a set list consisting of the band's signature tracks, a few deeper cuts, vocalist Gwen Stefani and her bandmates incorporated hits It's My Life, Just a Girl, and Bathwater, the latter which featured with some added vocals from Olivia, from Rodrigo. At the start of the band's performance of the 2000 single, Stefani screamed the name Olivia Rodrigo to the excited crowd as Grant, the Grammy winner hit the stage. The pair took turns with different lines on the song, and at the end of their back and forth, at the end of their back and forth, Stefani and Rodrigo gave each other an onstage hug before running off together. Mm. I love Olivia wow. Rodrigo. Oh, we know. Oh, um, yeah. Rodrigo, that little Mexican girl, be crying. <laughs> I like it. Zero out of ten. What? <laughs> now over to Gia with Lifestyle. The iconic theme park of Walt Disney World in Florida and California attract about 58 million tourists each year. But a major change to the park's accessibility rules for rides come into effect in May. The park has a fast track line for disabled guests, which allows them to apply for accessibility. And if approved, they are able to take six members of their group with them. However, Disney is now cracking down the number of people it lets, pe it lets join this queue, taking the figure down to just four people who can accompany someone with a, disab a disability. A, sp a spokesperson for the company suggested on Friday that the DAS service was being used by those who it wasn't intended for, implying those who don't have a disability may be taking advantage of the fast track queues. Anyone who is found to be lying about their needs will be banned from the parks without their tickets being reimbursed. The rules are expected to come into effect in Disney World, California on June 18th and Florida on May 20th. There are no reports of the changes coming into effect for Disneyland Paris. Paris. Oh, what? <laughs> Sorry. I'm Sorry. Um, Has anyone been to the other, Dis like, at the Disneyland? No. no. Oh. That's boring. I want to. I think they're cool. Yeah, they have probably better food, but like. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And now let's check out today's 10 second trivia. What was the last year that the Orlando Magic made the playoffs? 2020, 2016, 2012, or 2009? 2020 was the last time the Orlando Magic made the playoffs. The Orlando Magic is celebrating after a big 113-88 to win on Sunday afternoon at the Kia Center to clinch their, their, their franchise's first playoff since 
2020. While the Magic started off slow in the first quarter, things began to pick up in the final few minutes of the first half. Orlando took a five-point lead going into the locker rooms. From there, the Magic hit the foot with, on the gas in the second half, racing out to lead as large as 25 points. This will be the Magic's 17th playoff appearance. Orlando is the number five seed in the Eastern Conference and will face the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first round. Playoff tickets will go on sale today, and the ticket buyers can purchase tickets online or at the Kia Center box, which is located on Church Street in Orlando. Danny, you guys watch the game? No. No. Me neither. No. Me neither. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, well, let's look at Cam with local news. Sometimes the best thing you can do for your community is to give back. And that's exactly what happened this weekend here in Sanford. A community initiative brought dozens of Sanford residents together Sunday, Saturday morning. They teamed up to clean the streets of their neighborhood. The group formed by Seminole County residents came together bright and early with trash bags in hand to get the job done. About 60 volunteers of all ages signed up to join the effort, way more than organizers expected. Although this was Sanford's first community cleanup, organizers say they're excited about the turnout and are already working on the next event. Organizers have also said that this may be something that they can organize to do annually. I feel like you should do it more than annually. I didn't Monthly. even know. <coughs> yeah, monthly. I didn't know, guys. <laughs> what? Okay. Now let's take a look at our worry updates. This week is Neurodiversity Celebration Week, and we're celebrating by having Spirit Week dress-up days. Tomorrow, Tuesday, is tie-dye or rainbow colors day. Wednesday is crazy hairstyle or fun hat day. Thursday, wear blue for autism awareness. And finally, Friday, sixth graders wear blue, seventh graders wear white, and eighth will wear yellow or gold. Join us as we come together to celebrate our differences. Just a reminder, Seminole High School is holding tryouts for their Dazzlers dance team from April 15th to the 19th. You can pick up your tryout packet at the front desk of Seminole High. And it's all we have today for Warrior Updates. Students, just a reminder to check in for the goals you set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring and be aware that we also have mental health counseling on campus to help when needed. And remember the tardy and cell phone policy. No phones or earbuds during transition. Get to class on time and avoid those tardy sweeps. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stay connected with Sanford Moon on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember, you are brave. Believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage and excel in learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on The Brave Club. Bye! -bye.